everyone! So we're here today at the Academy of Sciences. We're here to check it out to see what changes have been made for COVID and to see if it's worth the price of admission. So join us today! Yeah, check it out! Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I will get up again
so close to so many bees. I know, it gives me like the like huge bees. <laughs> Just seeing them um, all clustered like that. Here they are, the flowers, collecting pollen. Fire urchins. Look at how I'm swimming! Oh, the light's not too great because they're actually kind of red. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like the purple lines going down that are like bright Fine. purple. Yeah. Oh, like the, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Look at that one. It's like moving pretty quickly. I don't know if that's quick in like the urchin. Under the surface. Oh, I've seen these when we go camping. Really? Well, yeah. oh, should we... I not tell you that? No. Where is it? Where is it? Where I is found it? it. It's right there. Where? Like in between. Right there. You see it? That's not it. Yeah, it is. That's, oh, that's, a... A, that's a twig. No. No, I don't see him. That's not a twig. Yeah, that's a twig. It's right oh, here. Smoke. He just molted. You see that? The red one? You see that right there? Yeah, so it's that molted part that I thought right was it. the I thought was the spider, but it's actually right below it. And that's like cool. two spiders so That is way bigger than I ever thought. Yeah. I'd freak out. I'd freak out too. Okay, these are not the ones I see camping because they're a lot okay. smaller than that. Okay, good, because I was starting to really freak out for a minute. I can keep staring at that fish. What are you looking at? These ones are the com oh not the com This one is called called the yellowhead jaw fish. Their little faces are just like hi. <laughs> What is it? It's a southern copperhead? Oh wait. So we just finished with the aquarium and as cool as it was, it was really crowded down there and people were not social distancing, especially when they're looking around the same exhibits. So that's just one thing to know when you come and see the Steinhardt Aquarium at the Academy. What's nice is when you first walk in, you see, you know, everything, you know, from the map to the exhibits, and it shows you what's currently closed. So the planetarium's currently closed, dining's currently closed, and it's great that I don't have to pull up my phone or remember which exhibits are currently open or closed. And it also, look, there's a spider. <laughs> Um, it also has a map and shows you which areas are closed so that way you don't have to wonder like, oh, where's the planetarium, you know, well that one's easy, but you know, like, where's the cafe, you can put, it quickly shows you where on the map um, that's open and closed. This is good, I like this. Yeah, you know, other places we've gone to, I've had to like pull up my phone or remember which exhibits or activities are open or closed. This one makes it easy. I don't even have to do that. It's awesome. So what's next? Uh, let's go to African Hall. Okay. Some penguins. Yeah, that's good. Sounds good. We're now entering African Hall. So let's go check it out. All right, cool. Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you got the The way your body makes my heart beat sound It's amazing all the time You are the only thing I need in life Oh, I want you 
background, you can see the elephants just walking by for a week. And it just comes on every um, 30 seconds. They're really faded back there, and you kind of got to look for them. But I love that it's kind of you can see them. But that little detail is so cool. Yeah. Every day we do this love for life Pretty cool You know what's funny is like We've been to tide pools before where you could touch the rays And just looking at a bat ray I already can feel like that texture That feeling <laughs> on my fingertips Just automatic now So without even having to touch it I already know that feeling on my fingertips <laughs> I shouldn't have worn a sweater Um, one of the great things about the aquarium is that there's so many unique experiences like the rainforest and the aquarium. It's all so different. Pretty cool. Yeah, they are. Look at this one. There. They have fruits and veggies here for the little millipedes. They're not so little millipedes. The not so little. The not so little. Because those are not. Not so little. Look at that one's eating. They look snakes, and but they're not. That one's eating. The broccoli. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the things I love about the rainforest all the butterflies. Not so cute anymore. The dead leaf mattis is eating this cricket. Oh yeah, look at that. And his friend's like watching in the back right there. Oh yeah, you can see him in the background. Munch, munch, munch. So since the rainforest has time reservations, you can really tell that there's a lot of space and you're allowed to social distance here. I wish they did that with the aquarium. It might have helped with the crowds a little. It definitely felt a lot more crowded in the aquarium than it does here in the rainforest. You can actually enjoy the experience a little bit more with space in between groups. Oh, 
on the living roof right now and it's a beautiful day in the city. We were expecting it to be gloomy but the sun is out and you get a great view of the park, the Young Museum, the Sky Star Wheel. Very cool. I can never decide which is my favorite exhibit when we come here because everything is just so awesome. Yeah. The overall this place is great. Definitely yeah. worth the money. Definitely worth visiting if you haven't been here before. There's so much to see and do. It was cool to have rotating exhibits. So, mm -hmm. you know, we did show earlier the, the Venom exhibit, mm -hmm. but they have things that are rotating pretty constantly Yeah. Uh, throughout the year. Um, so hopefully they continue that. And obviously they just reopened. They reopened on October 23rd. So, you know, getting everything situated in terms of reopening so far so good though they have you know you can scan your own tickets when you come in you can scan the QR code to reserve your tickets to get into the rainforest before you used to have like a paper ticket now everything is digital mm -hmm. to make it safe and they installed extra hand sanitizer stations as well We had a great time at the Academy like we usually do and this is the first time our daughter really could enjoy it. We've taken her here when she was younger but she didn't really enjoy as much as she did today so it was a wonderful experience for her. The tickets are on the pricier side at around $30 per adult depending on what time you do come because it's timed admission by date. You pick your date and your time and then the prices vary from like $30 to $33. So it's not an activity we would do all the time, but to come at least once is great. As I did mention, they did open on October 23rd, so they just opened a couple weeks ago. And we think that they're doing a okay job so far. <laughs> you know, they could make some improvements, I think with the aquarium especially, but in regards to everything else, so far they've been doing a good job with reopening. Yeah, we would definitely come back again. Uh, we know they do periodically change up some of the exhibits. So we always just keep an eye on their website and if there's something that interests us, we're definitely gonna come by. Um, but yeah, we're pretty excited that they finally open again. Uh, we will definitely be coming back. Yeah, you um, could it is pricey, but I was you know, telling Ant before that um, it might be in your best interest if you plan on coming quite a few times in a year to definitely sign up for the membership. Um, and you can find all the pricing online, which we'll link below in the description. Um, but it's something definitely to think about. Because it, it is a fun place to check out. It, it's very cool. The exhibits are very interactive and just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and so. it's, it's rare that you find like a kind of catch-all for a place, you know. And that's kind of why the price is a little bit more. Because you get an aquarium, you get a natural history museum, you know, you get a rainforest. So there's a lot of exhibits in one. Yeah, definitely check it out. You can reserve your tickets up to three weeks in advance. So I would recommend to make reservations, especially with the holidays coming up. They usually have a holiday exhibit around snow and they have like fake snow and reindeer and how snow is made. And that's usually what they've done in the past. So we'll see if it, they bring it back this holiday season. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see other videos like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. See you guys soon.